Consider you've been hired in a sales job, and the job involves commission. That is, the more you sell, the more money you'll make. And you have two options for your weekly pay. Option one, you get paid $200 as a base salary, plus you get 10% of all the sales you make. Option two is that you get no base salary, but you'll get 15% of all the sales you make. Which one should you choose? You could do a lot of thinking about this, but it would be good to visualize a situation. Let's start with equations. Thinking y equals mx plus b, and option 1, we're starting at 200. That is the y-intercept, the amount you get paid even if you sold nothing that week. So that's our b. And then we're rising at a slope of 10%, or $10 extra for every $100 of sales. Option 2 would look like this. We start at 0. Thus, the y-intercept must be 0. But then we rise at a slope of 15%. $15 extra for every $100 of sales. So, which one would you choose? Hmm. Let's graph to visualize these options better. So here's our option one, starting at 200 and growing at 10% from there. And here's option two, starting at zero, but growing at 15% from there. These are two relationships that use the same variables, so they can be graphed on the same grid, which makes them a system of equations. One feature of this system of equations that would be of particular interest in this problem is the point right here. This is the solution of the system of equations. That is, the point where both lines intersect. In our case, this point, or solution, represents where we would make the same amount despite the option we chose. That is, whether we chose option 1 or option 2, if we have sales of $4,000, we would be paid $600. With sales below this solution, we would make more with option 1. With sales above this point, option 2 is a better bet. So, when making this decision, we should definitely do some research on whether we're likely to have sales over $4,000 in a week. If you are, once you're good at your job, then maybe option 2 would suit best. But, if sales of $4,000 a week seem unlikely, then option 1 might be the better bet. Sometimes we're given a system of equations just like this. y equals x minus 3 and 2x plus 4y equals 12. Now, as a system of equations, we recognize that they both have the same variables. In this case, x and y. And therefore, can be plotted together on the same grid. So let's do that. The first one is already in our y equals mx plus b format, which is awesome. So we can just plot it right away. The y-intercept of negative 3 and a slope of 1 over 1, and here we go. The second one requires a bit of manipulation to get into our y equals mx plus b format. So we divide and rearrange a little bit, and we have y equals negative one-half x plus three. So a y-intercept of three and a slope of negative one over two. And so we have that one. Where is our solution to this system of equations? Yes, it's right there where they intersect. Four comma one. At this point, or solution, both lines pass through the exact same point. Therefore, we should be able to check to see whether we graphed correctly. That is, 
we should be able to plug in our 4 comma 1 into each equation and they should each prove to be true. So let's try that. For the first one, we substitute 4 in for the x and 1 in for the y and on the left we have 1 and on the right we have 4 minus 3 equals 1. And 1 equals 1, yes, that's true. And that verifies that our first equation does indeed pass through that point. But this also has to work for the second equation for this to be a solution to our system of equations. They both need to pass through this point. So let's try the second. Substituting 4 in for the x and 1 in for the y. On the left, we have 2 times 4, or 8, and 4 times 1 equals 4, and 8 plus 4 equals 12. So 12 equals 12, yes. So we know that the second equation also passes through that point, and we've confirmed our solution. In this tutorial, we looked at systems of equations. A system of equations is two or more equations that use the same variables. We can graph them or inspect their equations. The solution of a system of equations is a point that each equation passes through. And these are common ways to determine the solution. Where do the equations intersect on a graph? That intersection is the solution. Also, if we plug the coordinates of a point into each equation and it works for the equations, we know that that point is a solution. Now, we can also use algebra with the equations to solve for the point. At this point, We'll get good at looking at the first two methods, and later we're going to look at the algebraic methods.